Hello and welcome to New Junction. You join me on what is an extremely cold morning here at New Junction. Um, and uh, rather cleverly, I thought I'd do this intro in my loft, which uh, has no heating at all. So I'm uh, feeling the cold a bit. Now, you join me for something slightly different in this, uh, this episode. Um, as a few weeks ago, I was invited by the retailer Hattons, who I'm sure you've all heard of, um, to go up to their store in, uh, in Liverpool and um, basically have a tour around. Um, and see how they uh, they operate and see how they work and then uh, have a play with some of their new goodies so that's basically what this video is going to be so um, you'll join me uh, literally in seconds to you but I'm going to go and get the old motorbike out for probably one of the last uh, rides of the season and uh, go and spend the day at Hatton's so hope you enjoy it I'll see you uh, at the end Thank you very much for inviting us down. Yeah, no worries. Can you tell us a bit more about the uh, the new products that are coming out from Hattons? Yeah, so we've got plenty on the go at the moment. Um, so today we've been showing you our latest sample of the 00 gauge Class 66. So this is our first EP, um, which has been custom painted up in uh, Freightliner Green. Um, and then we've also got the latest version of the Railhead Treatment Train. Uh, this is the Sandite pack on show here. Um, and then we've got our a first EP of our O gauge uh, class A three four six two, the best thing here. You were very excited when you saw that one. Yeah, you? I really. Want one. <laughs> I just want that one. To be, honest, <laughs> to be honest, we could leave all that. I'll have to keep it closely guarded. I'm not meant to say that. I'm meant to be double O, aren't I? I've not even got an O gauge layout. Everyone gets an O gauge layout one day. I think you're literally just doing the blind Scotsman on. This. So it's coming in a variety of different livery. So there's. Um, L and E R colour schemes, yeah. B R colour schemes, and it's got the accurate to all the variations for each one. So we've got different versions of the um, smoke box door with the B R numbers on it, and also the deflectors um, with or without um, different tender types. The works really so yeah. There's uh, the vast majority of the different um, you know different sets of variations that were present on the logos are going to be present there. Um, yeah, it's definitely on my Christmas list. When's it due out? It's next March, is it? It is due out next March. Next Christmas. That's the one. And the, uh, the Class 66, is it 30 liveries we've got? Yes, 32. 32. <laughs> and typically we don't the do I things want. by halves. We don't do things by halves here. I was going to say, the typically the one I want is uh, not more of those 32. We have to spray <laughs> it's always the way. But... Um, how many various varieties of the uh, rail treatment train do we have? Um, so they're, they're only in the one network rail yep. livery. Um, so we're doing it both weathered and unweathered. This is the pristine one, obviously, as you can see here. Um, and it comes in, there's two different packs that you can buy. So there's the, uh, the sand eye pack and the yep. water spraying pack. And they've got essentially just different uh, layout of the modules on top. And then you can buy uh, an expansion pack with uh, another three of the water spray modules mm -hmm. um, to extend it. Because sometimes they run in a train of three wagons, sometimes in a train of two. Um, practically always with a loco at either end. But they run with practically anything, 66, 20, um, 37. It's because you used to have one each end as well. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Which is handy. How That's much it. will they be, sorry? They will be... The good question. You might have to jump up this one. We'll cut it out, it's alright. Uh, I know mine is going to be free. It's on the leaflet over there! <laughs> <laughs> the bottom of the leaflet. The team of people From behind us all. £118. £118. Pounds. That's hattons.co.uk forward slash rhtt. There we go. How much was that? £118? Pounds? Yeah. £118. Pounds. 18 pounds to everyone else. I'll do, I'll do this a bit of a... Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll link this in. You missed your trick there, Paul. You could just have 50 quid. <laughs> Come on, then. I didn't realise we were in an auction situation. Yeah. <laughs> what about <Don't>. the... <laughs> Dare ask the 66? That is 150. Okay. And the sand version? Is 249. 
See, I think that's a really good price, to be fair. That is a really good price. Yeah. Especially I'd also for a new, yeah. new, newly tall engine. That's it. And obviously, you've had a good listen to the sound today, oh, haven't yes. you? And you can, I'm sure I'll you can vouch that the very, uh, very loud indeed. Yeah, we're, obviously we'll be using the latest um, lock sound chip yep. for it, and enables all sorts of sound functions and um, massive array of lighting functions too. So obviously we've got the day running, night running, super shunter mode, yard lights, whatever you want really. And um, as I say, the we're cramming the biggest speaker possible into a so um, it's earth shattering sound really. I think sound will never come through on a camera, but That's what have it. I heard? It's I mean it's really nice sound anyway. So with a base of speakers can be really nice. Oh yeah, yeah. Very excited to see what it sounds like. See, here, what it here, sounds like. Hear what it sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> Will the uh, OK Scotsman come with sound, dare I ask? Um, it can be fitted with sound. We're not offering it factory fitted, but um, it will be able to be fitted with sound. There's space in the, uh, in the tender. That's uh, 750 pounds. That is 750 Well worth pounds. it. That's actually a really good price point, I thought, for a O gauge loco, but I'm extremely biased. I really like it. Well, that's it. It's it's one of those where you know in kit form it, it, it can be quite an expensive model, and it, it's we're trying to make it so that there's a good entry point for O gauge for people. So it's it's such a identifiable and uh, popular locomotive, and it, it's a it, it kind of almost makes it a good starting point for people to get into O really. But obviously for the established O gauge buyers out there, you've got a huge a popular three, loco as you well. Have a huge rake of coaches on the back, and it'll run like a dream. I was surprised there wasn't already a ready to run version. Because um, when you brought it out, you think, why isn't there one already? Because it's such a you think such a iconic loco. iconic loco. Yeah, people have missed a trick. Could a project like this cost uh, from literally start to finish for a, a manufacturer? Would you say many? many well, pounds? it's pretty much. I mean, it's it's difficult to put a figure on it really because obviously each project is a, is a unique thing and um, it depends massively on. Um, how much detail goes into the actual tooling itself, mm -hmm. how many variations there are going to be in the tooling. So obviously with the 66, we've got some different um, body shell types here. So we've tooled up for, you know, different numbers of cab windows, different types of headlights on the front and all stuff like that. So that adds to the cost really. Um, so it, it varies wildly with each project. And obviously if you're dealing with O gauge, double O or N, it's, it, it scales from there as well. I suppose it's not necessarily easier just because it's smaller or bigger or that's the project. It. That's it, especially because obviously we've, we've just announced our first Engage project as well, which we're, we're starting off on the ground up with the LMS Bay Garrett. And um, obviously in the past we've produced with Halogen the double O version of that. Um, but it's not, it's not always a case of just scaling down or scaling up because there's different detail uh, amounts have to be allowed for each. So on an Engage model, there's certain compromises that might have to be made. Um, to make sure that it looks looks right on such a small model, yeah. whereas you know on a double O and an O gauge one, there's there's more that you can fit in there. So obviously with scaling up an N gauge one, um, for example, um, you'd have to add so much more that you might you almost might as well just start from the beginning, um, which is why it, it, yeah, it works both ways. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why we're doing it basically. Does it take many people? Is in UK side to 
do all this with the design and whatnot? Or is it literally a small team you've got? Probably? It's quite a small core team that we have working on this project, really. So, Just bloke um, in the corner. Well, you, everyone knows Hatton's Dave, um, so <laughs> he does a lot of the work, so there's a lot of research work that happens over here, and we do, throughout the entire process of the model coming to coming to market, we're involved with all of the um, design processes, we help with anything we can really, and make sure it's up to our standards, so yeah. it's up to up to the public standards as well. What's your sort of normal lead time with projects, or what you're aiming for? Um, well, just as quickly as possible really we we just want people to enjoy them as much as we're excited to make them really so we just try to obviously not compromise on the quality we don't rush things we just take as long as we may but we never try to um you know we never try to give a false expectation of when something's going to come out so we always from the outset try and give the most accurate um delivery times possible and if something does change whether it be it's going to come sooner or whether it comes later We'll always communicate that um, as much as possible, so it will be updated on our listings. We'll produce um, content um, to make sure that people know about it. But you know, with the case of the sixty six, for example, it was announced in the summer, and, yeah, um, and it'll be Is it? out, it'll, it's pretty much. <laughs> say that, say that. It'll be coming out at the start of next year. So yeah. obviously, there was a lot of work that went into it before it yeah. was announced. But it's you know, we 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 aim to increase those, uh, decrease the uh, lead time really so that people are just getting their stuff. Well, if you could pinpoint why uh, I suppose Hatton's can do it quickly, relatively, compared to other manufacturers, what would you say is the, the main points you've got? Um, well, I think, I suppose we are dealing with our, um, we are dealing with our own factories, um, so the, there isn't really a middleman in terms of commissioning, um, and obviously we're so heavily involved with the design process, the research process, the whole way through really. Um, there's, there's not much to really get in the way. Yeah. Fair enough. Simple answer. <laughs> <laughs> so how, how do you decide which projects to, to do? How do you kind of come up with your list of ideas of future projects? There's quite a lot that goes into deciding what's going to come up for our next project. So we, we do a lot of market analysis and research. Um, big things that come into play are stuff like your, your RM Web um, wishlist poll, um, which is you know quite a big part of what, of what we take into account. Trends within the industry in general. So um, when we were producing the SECRP class and the Andrew Barclay, um, small steam locos, um, especially um, industrial steam locos with the likes of the packet coming out and things like that. Um, they were extremely popular at that time and there was a crying out for more um, SECR air locos as well with the Home PH class and the um, back to C class as well. Um, and that helped us to, to say, right, we, we're going to do these locomotives. But there's, there is a, a lot of different things that come into play. So, uh, you know, uh, again with the P class, there'd only ever been kits of that loco, there'd never been an actual ready to run. So that kind of comes in as a factor too. Um, such a good model because it's so collectible as well, especially in all its varieties. That's it. And it, it's such a beautiful little thing. It's so yeah. tiny with so much detail. It's, yeah. How many boxes would you say you, you kind of see out the door in a, every week? Um, I'd say at the moment, um, obviously we're at the, you know, one of the busiest times <coughs> of the year, we're coming up to Christmas and we've got our sale this entry on at the moment, which is the biggest sale we've ever put on here at Hatton's. At the moment we're putting out um, a f around, you know, several hundred to a thousand deliveries a day. Is that it? Um, yeah, only a few. Um, and yeah, that obviously that adds up quite a bit throughout the week. Um, but this is yeah. all you personally box them, you've just come yeah. straight from the uh, factory you've just seen. That's it, I, I design all the models, and, yeah. uh, I pack all the boxes and... <laughs> <laughs> be a massive team here, <laughs> How many line, how many kind of different lines of stock do you hold? Currently we've got 25,000 lines in stock. It does fluctuate a lot. Um, we're going to review them all. Throughout the year. Yeah, we're going to start <laughs> yeah. right now and review every single model in the warehouse. You can go start picking now. We like. will. But um, yeah, so it, it goes up down quite a lot really, but at the moment 25,000 stock. What kind of percentage of that is more leaning towards the, the rolling stock side and what percentage more towards the scenic side? So that's, that's a, a good question, question that. that is. Yeah. Whoa, geez. It's a real question. This this is real questions. I, um, I can't, honestly couldn't tell you. I don't honestly, even think I could guess. I, it's a lot. 
Yeah. <laughs> that's a lot of everything. <laughs> You're in the position where you could say any number and we'd have to believe it. Twelve, we? at least twelve yeah. of each. <laughs> and less than 80,000. I've gone down the numbers for it, you know, you're like, what is, what is the meaning of life? You'll probably get an answer. I'll try, I'll try to be there. The flying, meaning of life is right here around It's a us. flying Scotsman. It's what yeah. we're doing right now. Yeah. When you, so when you go home at night, do you have a layout? Ooh. I actually don't. And it's a, it's a massive despair of mine that I don't have a layout at the moment. That's all good. One of, I know, working in Hatton's and I don't have a layout. Is this a plus mentality to you? Company. But uh, yeah, I've, I, I've dabbled here and there. I've got the attics there waiting, screaming for me to build something in it. Um, I did a little cake box layout, but I didn't finish it before the, um, the judging went through. Um, so I, I quite like to mess around with smaller things, um, sort of the, like the line gauge cake box there. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I, there is. There's a, a yearning inside me to finally get on with doing something proper you know, up in the attic, so that's going to happen at some point, I think. And mm. is that going to be on YouTube? Maybe. Ooh. Oh, don't. I think we could. Don't have everything. New, new junction. New, new junction. <laughs> Finished junction. Yeah. Well, coming in 2019. New, new junction from Hatton's <laughs> at a discount. Generic junction. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to staff discount junction. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell them that.
So obviously we've spent the day having a tour around Hattons with yourself. Um, yeah. And yourself. And myself behind the camera most of the time. We enjoyed it. It's been a really good day, yeah. It's been really informative. It's been really nice to meet Jack and, and to, to meet the other fellas as well as we've been kind of going around, seeing what Hattons do here um, and learning about the, the, the projects, the upcoming projects and all that kind of stuff as well. Um, many of which are now publisher, publicised on the websites, aren't they? Yes. If I'm, if I'm right, Jack. A lot of top secret ones. A lot of top secret oh, ones. Yes. Yeah, which include... Thank you for telling me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so about that... Uh... <laughs> yeah. For £20, you can find out what the secret is. So, um, yeah, we're having I'm a fun day. I've really enjoyed it, to be fair. Thank you for having us. No, glad to have um, you. I'm surprised how small Hattons is. I mean, it's a tiny little place. To... Not, not I'm joking, I'm joking, of course. Blimey, me, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, there's hundreds of you, aren't there? Everywhere. But, um, no, absolutely fantastic setup you've got. Um, it's all very modern, very modern setup. Uh, it's quite impressed. In the warehouse, it's all very well lit. It's quite Dead literally brand new, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, so, I mean, yeah, even, it's, even just from a business kind of you know, uh, perspective, for me going into businesses as part of what I do as a job, this is a really good little setup. So, say little, that's probably I was gonna say, yeah. <laughs> this is a really good setup. Uh, so, yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm quite impressed with that and you know and it's really good actually that Hattons have, have done this in terms of an open day to allow people like you know us to come in who have nothing better to do we've got nothing better to do on a Monday <laughs> it was uh, cold yeah. outside <laughs> it was cold we were waiting into our warm into our warm That's building it. so we can come up and play with some friends some of us had a two hour ride am I right a two hour ride in two the and a half two and a half, yeah. half hour ride on the M6 fool what a fool um they need to finish that motorway, but that's another episode. Yeah, that's that's nothing. Something else finish that time. motorway. No, never, never. So I mean, yeah, it's, it's, so yeah, like I say, it's been it's been a really good day all in all, and, and obviously I'd like to thank Jack uh, Big for spending thank you. so much time with us as yeah. well. He's answered a lot of questions, most of which he didn't actually know the answer to to start off with. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not in the video. We won't show that. <laughs> I almost feel Jack is almost like the uh, Willy Wonka of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory to us. In, in some, what way? Because it happens to us as magical as hobbyists. Obviously, you work it, so you see it every day. But oh, that's true. It's yeah. quite exciting, really, so isn't it? Yeah. But... I'm just the serious face in the front. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, some of the things we've seen. Oh, tell you. Yeah, magic rainbows. Yeah. You got lost in that tube for a bit. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. You almost flew away. The Chocolate River is fantastic. Yeah. The magic orange TT. But, yeah. Uh... That's it. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't a river. That was a track. Yeah. A magic oh, track. I missed that one. Yeah. Anyway. Yes. So. Uh, all in all, uh, well worth it. Um, we're getting paid a lot of money to do this. Um, <laughs> not really, not really. <laughs> oh, you're yeah, not. All in all, it's, uh, all in all, it's been a really good day. So I'm, I'm, I'm very happy, and I'm really, really pleased that Hans have let us, let us do this. Um, so yeah, we're... glad to have you guys here. And thank you for having us, and thank you for the big bag of freebies. <laughs> Yeah, is having that flying Scotsman or he's still on? The O gauge flying yeah. Scotsman. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Cool. 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 Dark okay, you guys. Thank you very much. We'll see, see you guys. Soon. Bye. Now, as you'd imagine, that was an extremely cold ride. Um, I've literally just put my bike away. Um, it's near on midnight now. Um, but what a fantastic day. Um, as you'd imagine, the. Uh, the uh, team at Hattons were very uh, welcoming. Um, it was literally a, uh, as you've just seen, um, a uh, all-access tour, um, and uh, we learned obviously the things uh, you've seen in the video that we can tell you about. And I did learn a few secrets which um, I can't tell you about. However, twenty pounds to my PayPal gets you the info. I'm only joking, but um, no, I'd just like to say what a refreshing attitude for the industry. Now. Retailer aside, from a manufacturer point of view, not just necessarily because they invited us up, but their attitude towards the industry, the sort of positive pushes they're trying to make, um, and they're not just sort of a inward thinking um, retailer, as it were. Um, they'll be doing things like wholesaling um, and manufacturing that way, um, and I think it's a very uh, positive step, um, and certainly a push in the right direction for this industry. I know a lot of manufacturers, as of late have uh, probably needed this bit of this bit of a kick up the backside from uh, what is new competition but uh, 
anyway, enough of that. That's a debate for another day. But uh, I'd just like to say big thank you for inviting us up. Um, myself and Paul at N Trains um, had a fantastic time. Um, and uh, I'd just like to say I'm sorry for keeping uh, Jack so late. We were there long past Hattons had shut. Um, but uh, no, it was a really nice day and uh, a credit to the guys, basically. So I'm going to go and warm up now because I'm absolutely freezing. But uh, as you can probably hear in my voice. But um, going on the bike was an extremely sensible idea and totally justified. <laughs> but uh, thank you for watching as always. And I'll uh, be seeing you uh, at the NEC very soon. Take care, guys.